We're here, Darrenton Mingila, for our Darrenton Athlete of the Week. Today, we have Masakata National Soccer Team player Paige Serber, and here to present it with a check is Mark. Mark? Congratulations on being Darrenton's Athlete of the Week. Thank you. Uh, who would you like to donate the check to? Uh, I'm donating this check to the Southern Cobras. All right, Paige, you guys uh, won the first round of the EAFF uh, Women's Tournament at the GFA Field. Uh, let's talk about this year's team and how it is uh, varied from uh, years past. Um, I can say this team has come a long way. From we um, Ever since I've entered the women's national team, we've never advanced to round two. So this is a really huge accomplishment for us, and the team just looks a lot stronger. Um, we've got a lot of speed on our side and a lot of smart players, so that's really helped us out th throughout this whole tournament. Yeah, you guys are heading to uh, Chinese Taipei later, later this year. Um, what's the atmosphere like with the team and uh, everybody's uh, feeling about making it to the second round? Um, three months is a long time from now in November, so um, the girls are still going to be excited. Um, we're just trying to, um, to keep in touch, to stay fit, and um, just go in with the same kind of game plan we had against NMI and Macau, and hopefully um, with the speed and the the tactics we have now, we can go forth with winning the second tournament. Yeah, you scored six goals in this year's tournament. Uh, f two in the first match, four in the second match. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about how you were able to, I guess, get wide open shots and, and capitalize on your opportunities. Um, well, with the practices we have, always working on our combination plays and getting in trouble by Coach Kim. Stay wide, stay high. So. Um, with how we switch the ball around, um, moving, off the, moving off and on the ball, that's how we get to win. So it creates space um, with us just passing thoroughly and just getting open and our teammates looking up and being smart about who we're passing to and how we're going get to the, get the next play, how we're going to get the next goal. So always thinking what's the next play, what's the next plan, and then we're going to get the goal. All right, congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Dye Own Athlete of the Week. AUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Now for your Micronesian Games update, Guam's tennis players have all advanced to the quarterfinals. The women allowed only one game total to their opponents, virtually annihilating them as Nadine Del Carmen beat out Pompey's Doreen Basig 6-1, 6-0. Camden Naylor blanked out Mona Alik Jackson of Kosrai 6-0, 6-0. Charlene Espinoza mopped Tilda Tolena of Kosrai 6-0, 6-0. And Katrina Lai squeaky clean Jenna Dina Penuelo of Pompey 6060. In the men's division, Joshua Cepeda, Brian Tuncap Jr., Charles Oliver Jr., and Anthony John all received first round buys in both the singles and doubles event. In the mixed doubles event, Charles Oliver Jr. and Katrina Lai trounced Pompey's Dindo Libri de la Pena and Doreen Basig 6261. Joshua Cepeda and Camden Nadler deflated Coast Rise Moses Charlie and Petrina Asau 6060. Brian Tuncap Jr. and Charlene Espinoza beat out Pompey's Alik Jackson and Amanda Hawkins 6-3-6-1, while Anthony John and Nadine Del Carmen defeated Coast Rise Kun Charlie and Tilda Tolina 6-2-6-1. Men's volleyball spiked out Palau. It took only three sets for Guam's men's volleyball to remain undefeated in pool play as they smashed their way to a 25-14, 25-17, 25-15 victory over Palau in a match that took 43 minutes to complete. For a complete list of results, check out KUAM.com.